So the lateral moraine that we're driving down here is actually one of the steepest unpaved roads in all of North America. It's a, what we call a 32% grade. So what that means for every 100 feet or 100 meters that we go forward, we drop down 32 meters or 32 feet. So it's very, very steep. However, you guys are in this Kodiak, like I said, and these are specifically designed to handle this sort of terrain. This is what they're built for. They can handle anywhere up to about a 36% grade. So they're well within the limits. And there are only about 22, 24 of these buses in the whole world. And we have 22 of them here. The other two are owned by America and Australia, sorry. And they're out doing some research in the Antarctica. And they cost around $1.5 million each to buy new. So you guys are dri driving a pretty rare $1.5 million vehicle through the Rockies. It's not too bad. Wash waste to spend your days. Now the reason why we can handle all this terrain, a big reason anyway, is the tires on these vehicles. You probably noticed that they're pretty big. They stand around 1.6 meters tall, one meter wide, and they've got about the same pressure in them as your average car tire. So really not a lot, about 14 to 18 PSI. And they're what we call low pressure tires. So these help minimize our impact on the glacier and they handle these big rocks and stones that we have to drive over. And those tires cost around $5,000 American to buy and fit, so they're not cheap, and we have six of them, so they're not cheap at all, and they only last about two years, so you don't really get a lot for your money, but they're pretty cool, and like I said, we own 22 of these buses, but we're currently in the process of refurbishing at least one a year, we don't want to buy any new ones, we want to reduce our impact, we want to reuse, recycle, and they cost around $300,000 to, to refurbish. 